Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Finding difficult to solve skill drag daily challenge? No worries. Subscribe to our channel right now and get regular videos to know the logic and crack the daily challenge. First, we will understand our question. We have to accept the R cross C matrix from the user and the integer x. Then we have to print the largest square sub matrix with x as center. We have also given a note that x will occur only once and the largest square matrix will be of length odd. So here it is square sub matrix. Now let us check this with our test cases. This is our first case where we have the number of rows and number of columns that is 7 and 9. Our integer x is 52. Then we will search for 52 in every element of the matrix. Then we find it here. So we have to print the largest square sub matrix with 52 as center. This will be our output, which is the largest square sub matrix. Then for our next test case, we have number of rows 5, number of columns 3. This is our matrix and our x integer is 66. We search for 66 in every element of the matrix. Then we find it here. So we are going to print this largest square sub matrix as our output. Then we will check for our next, next test case where we have the number of rows 4 and the number of columns is also 4. Then our integer x is 65. We search for 65 in every element of the matrix. Then we find it in the first row and the first column. So this 65 can't form the square sub, sub matrix as it is present in the left corner. <laughs> so 65 is itself the largest square sub matrix and we will print it as our output. Now we will see our logic to solve this program. Our first step is finding the index of x then sub matrix indexes by using the index of x then we will determine the largest sub matrix and we are going to and we are going to print it let us implement our program first we will get the number of rows and columns using map function then our matrix using the list comprehension then our integer x then we will initialize the side cells count as empty these side cells count will have 
the count of uh, elements present in present around the x integer that is this length then this length then this length and then this length so we'll use a for loop for row in range r for column in range c we are going to check for our x matrix row column equal to equal to x so if we find x then we are going to append the side cell count in every direction the side cells count dot append of row which means we are going to append the elements in the left side of the x integer in row then we will append the column where we specify these elements then we will append r minus c r minus row minus 1 which specify the right side direction along our x integer then we will append c minus column minus 1 which specifies these two elements now we will initialize some variables to store the index of our x integer x row equal to row and the x and the x column equal to column now we have got all our inputs that is the side cells count and the x row and the x column now we have to find the minimum cells count in order to print our largest square sub matrix so the count in the left side direction is 6 and here it is 4 here it is 2 and here also 2 so the minimum count is 2 and now we are going to run a loop where this index minus cells count will give this then this index plus cell count will give this and this and this so we'll get our matrix now we will initialize the extra index to get the minimum of the cells count that is 2 cells count and now we have got all our inputs now we have to get our square sub matrix with center 52 now this center minus the minimum of cells count is 2 so we'll get this then when we add we will get this so same for others now we will run a for loop for row in range x row minus extra index and the x row plus the extra index plus 1 then we'll run a for loop for column for column for column in range the same statement but we will change column here and here then we will print the matrix 
and we will use the end argument since we have used the end argument we'll use the print function now let us execute the program by giving our test cases that is number of rows and columns is 7 and 9 where we got our output with the largest square sub matrix with x 52 as a center then we will run our next test case where number of rows and columns is 4 and 4 and we have got the largest square bar sub matrix that is 65 as it is present in the corner we will run our next test case where we have got the sub matrix with 66 as center hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video